Hello, my name is Spencer Sapienza. I am a video maker and an amateur Empire State Building historian. As a resident of the New York metropolitan area, I often look up at that great big beautiful skyline, particularly the the jewel, the crown jewel, the Empire State Building, and say, gee, I, I wonder what all those great colorful lights are for. They're generally celebrating different holidays. So I thought, as a historian, I'd make a video to sort of run through uh, one calendar year. So here I we have the uh, opening slide. So here we have the first uh, holiday of significance uh, for the calendar year of 2018. It was lit up all beautiful royal blue uh, in memoriam to the members of uh, Performance Troop Blue Man Group who all died of marshmallow asphyxiation. Next slide, please. Here we have February 1st. The Empire State Building is lit up green and white, uh, which of course are the colors of National Gentrification Day. Next slide, please. Here we have the light uh, shining off of the Empire State Building uh, on Groundhog's Day. The Empire State Building did see its shadow. <laughs> Next slide, please. On February 29th, of course, we have uh, Leap Day, and the Empire State Building is uh, getting into the Leap Day spirit. Next slide, please. On March 5th, getting into the Fat Tuesday spirit. It's it's Mardi Gras, y'all. March 15th, um, we have the Empire State Building sort of going wild with these uh, rainbow colors due to Mayor Bill de Blasio thinking he saw uh, a monster under the 59th Street Bridge, and he asked for a nightlight. April 21st, the Empire State Building was lit up red, green, and gold because the Empire State Building smoked its first joint. Uh, what a beautiful rite of passage. It is, of course, uh, decriminalized in New York State. Next slide, please. On April 26th, we have the Empire State Building uh, being quite playful on Harper Day. May 27th is, of course, uh, Memorial Day. And this Memorial Day, they chose to memorialize the end of the relationship between Jennifer Aniston and Justin Thoreau. Uh, heartbreakingly poignant. Next slide, please. Here, on June 19th, we have the Empire State Building celebrating Opposite Day. Uh, July 2nd, 2018, the Empire State Building was celebrating the 15th anniversary of the release of Legally Blonde 2, Red, White, and Blonde, a personal favorite of mine. I'm no amateur uh, cinema historian. I'm merely an amateur Empire State Building historian. Here on July 4th is how the Empire State Building was lit up for Independence Day. Next slide, please. Here on July 29th, the Empire State Building was black and white for Old Timers Day. Next slide, please. August 3rd, the Empire State Building was lit up pink and blue for the Empire State Building's gender reveal party. Sadly, I don't recall the results, but I'm sure they would be available from a cursory Google. On September 17th, the Empire State Building was lit up purple and gold, which uh, are the school colors of SUNY Oneonta, who won their Division Three Cup Stacking Championship. Go Wildcats! This is how the Empire State Building looked on Columbus Day. October 31st, the Empire State Building is looking quite festive in orange for National Tang Day. Mm -mm -mm. Next slide, please. These were the colors of the Empire State Building on November 6th, which was, of course, the season finale of American Idol. The Empire State Building was lit up red and green for Veterans Day to honor the veterans of the war on Christmas. Uh, may they rest in peace. Next slide, please. On December 6th, the Empire State Building was lit up silver to celebrate National Chrysler Building Day. I have started a petition opposing this gesture, but uh, we did not garner enough signatures. December 9th, 2018 was the eighth and final night of Hanukkah, and uh, this is how the Empire State Building looked then. Uh, thank you for joining me on this journey. Cheers.